Yo, what is good? My what is good, yo? So I had this whole video and I put it up. It was nine minutes long and I wasn't even capable of being heard. I am absolutely salty. <laughs> but let's get into it. This week, with how much stuff we learn in Attack on Titan, it's only mind blowing over time how little uh hope it feels like there won't be a war right like there is no way that anybody who's in part of this or who is on the side that they are are going to actually allow themselves to believe that Regardless of whatever happens here on out, they're going to, you know, be able to overlook what's happening. And I think that's really telling in the grand scheme of just who we are dealing with at the end of the day. Not only are we dealing with, uh, what's his face? Um, we're dealing with the Beast Titan, the Armor Titan. They are pretty much now in the position where they're thinking about what our team has because our team seemingly is way more equipped for uh, not only baby titans, like if they're going to try to pull that thing with dropping titans out of the sky, even people within the town that are just like police officers have a good idea how to attack from close range that's the only thing that really stopped that other people in my opinion uh from doing much better against the attack from the basic titans is just once they got inside the walls and they couldn't just shoot the cannons anymore that's how you knew they didn't have nearly as much defense as uh as our people just in the case of fighting close range and being prepared to pretty much do whatever it takes to send out whoever you have to uh, to win the fight, which in the long term really did showcase the type of people we were dealing with. Like, everybody was kind of just like, eh, yeah, we'll, we'll just put these guys on the chopping block. <laughs> like, hopefully they, they come out all right. But to be fair, I honestly think we are looking at one of the most craziest development for a character who already has had like a lot of come-ins with a lot of different situational uh, threats in his life. But now to see Reiner taking this center stage almost and pretty much being, uh, you know, the role model for his people like Aaron or like a Levi in the uh, on the spectrum is kind of mind-boggling uh, to know that he's just here kind of portraying us, you know? Like, he's already done the portraying, but he clearly has a heart uh, for our people because what we are to everyone inside of this, uh, inside of this kingdom are devils we aren't anything but that that's all we should be called that's all we should be known by and i mean if unless you don't really you know place yourself in the group of people of uh of aaron and all of them and you think that you're just you're with the other people then you don't simply you're not on the you know you're not on all, my side of speaking where i feel like aaron and all of them still are if not, they're not in the wrong because we clearly know what has happened on both sides of the spectrum. So we have perspective, to be fair. The people who don't have perspective <laughs> or perspective is the people who are just blindly going along with this stuff, right? Like they honestly have no clue if what they're doing is truly, truly uh, helping, hurting, or uh all of the above you know is it helping and hurting you and your team or are you just doing this without even knowing because it's possible that it could turn out better for 
your side and you don't worry about anything else that comes out of it well with that being said i definitely want to hear what you guys are thinking about this week's episode of uh attack on titan just simply because of the information we get with uh rainer saying the stuff that he was saying like uh knowing that the beast titan's gonna die soon in like a year and Reiner's, you know, getting close to that point as well. Why is it that he wants someone like the girl to not risk her life and, you know, go down the path that he's gone down? But it's okay for this other kid, right? Like this other kid, oh yeah, 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 you can, you can do it. But should we have this girl who's already showcased that she, a she wants to be the beast, the armor titan? Uh, she also has all of the actual, like, strengths and talent to become one of the top soldiers, plus uh, has full loyalty to the cause of what they're doing. So it blows my mind to see how uh, dedicated Reiner was to this other guy who he himself doesn't really even think can do it in my opinion like i don't believe he thinks he's going to be the armor titan but yeah it doesn't matter in that regard because guess what he still wants to give him the title over the girl mainly due to probably not wanting to see her end up like annie or anyone else that he has fought with but it just still doesn't make sense why he would let the kid do it and not her, you know, so he's in a really dark place and I think it's an amazing character development, but seeing the people who are like mentally scarred by battle and stuff being treated like crap uh, by their own people that they just fought for and that they just try to help really does bring back the perspective of do you truly think there's a moral or a good side to either side of these people because if so they are showcasing you that every time you think there is good there's also a hint of evil within it and to see them treating people that are mentally scarred because of battle and just treating them like crap it just kind of proves your point where there's always going to be a little bit of the worst types of people so I hope you guys are having an amazing day, night, evening, whatever the case may be. I apologize for the first video going out and no video or no audio. I, hi, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but with that being said, let me know what you thought about this episode. Please do drop a like if you enjoyed, and I'll drop another video soon. So take care. Peace.